is the water feature we made on a prior video. I'll add the YouTube link in the description. Some people wanted to see a cheaper option, so we made this new one that came out to $57. Alright, so we're back today. We're going to show you guys how to make a different type of a waterfall or water feature. This one behind us here, um, we made in a different video. The supplies you'll need for this water fountain, it's less. You don't have to get that bamboo water fountain feature. So we have this uh, supplies, we have this pot. It's pretty nice, we got it at Costco and it was only $16.99. And then we have our <coughs> water pot from Amazon, which I'll put a link to in the description. We have a drill here to drill out a hole for the water fountain, the solar cable. Um, we have this, this metal wire, which you can get at Home Depot. <coughs> this was um, $15.99, I believe, for a big sheet, eight-foot sheet. So we still had some from our other project. To cut that out, I basically used a cardboard and traced out a circle and used that as a template. And then you can use any type of rock, but oops, we have river rock in our backyard. So since it's readily accessible, we're gonna use that. And then we have our five gallon bucket. And to cut the wire, I used a Dremel or a cutoff tool because it's a lot faster. If you don't have one of these, it's okay. You can use one of these um, wire clippers. So, it's pretty easy to clip, but when you do it with this, it does take a lot longer. But it does, I mean, you can use this if you want. Let's go. It's pretty simple. So all you have to do is this is empty right now. Let's put the bucket inside of the pot. Like that, right in the middle. And then from there, we can um, put that wire mesh on top of there. Perfect. So now we can um, actually before before we fill it up with water and the rocks on top, we have to go ahead and open up this pump. Okay. Now when you open that box, just um, be careful that the solar panel is not in the sun. You'll have to flip it over because otherwise the pump will start running. Okay. Good, I think the solar panel is already facing down. Yeah. So it comes with this extension tube, which you are going to need because that's going to go down into the bucket. Bunch of these things. What are these? Oh, a lot of attachment pieces. So depending on what kind of spray pattern you want, we'll have to experiment with a few different ones and see what which one we like. Okay. And we have these. I don't think we'll need the screws. I think you can anchor that solar panel down somewhere if you wanted, but we're probably not going to do that. Here's the actual pump. Little foam filter. I like this one because it disconnects, so you can actually feed it through, drill a hole through the pot like we're going to do, and it'll be nice and stealth and incognito. So we're going to drill a hole this size. Alright, Sloan? Okay, you can start drilling. I'll tell you when to stop, okay? You might have to dr drill about halfway through and push forward. Good, push forward. Keep going, keep going. There you go. Uh, maybe a little bit more. A little bit more. Forwards. Right there. I think that's good. Try to take that tip of this here, the cord, and see if you can pass that cord through. No, the other one. Yeah. It might be, it might still be a little small, but let's see. Almost. Okay, so drill it. A little bit deeper. I think you might have to go the full depth of that drill. More, more, all the way through. 
There you go, and pull it back. So I want you to do the same thing you just did, but this time, drill it through right there. Yes, I'm gonna have to hold it straight for you. All right, go ahead. And go all the way through it just like you did last time. Perfect. Okay, now you're gonna feed this through the hole there in the five gallon bucket and feed it through the hole in the um, pot. All right, okay, next up, let's go ahead and take that clear hose, and then you're gonna have to, have to attach it to the pump. Okay. It might be a little difficult, it might be a little tight, but just wiggle it back and forth. You just take this out and then use two hands. Might be a little tight. Sometimes these tubes, if, if it's hot and the tube kind of melts, or you add a little bit of water, it works a little bit better. But there we go. You just have to keep twisting it until it gets all the way in and it's well seated. Maybe a little bit more. I would say that's good right there. Okay, so now I'm just gonna set this down in the bucket. I think that looks pretty close. How about, how about that spot? Yeah. Okay. And then now we'll set this on top. Watch your fingers because there's some sharp edges. That looks pretty good. That looks like the center to me. Okay. Okay. So now what we can do is we can fill this up with water. Okay. Ready? Yep. You have this funnel piece, then you have this sprayer, which has different holes. You have this piece, and then you have this adapter. One piece fits onto here, and then the other piece fits onto the hose. Make sure this is nice and straight. Okay, so now let's go ahead and try to flip this over. This is called the moment of truth. So, here is the solar panel, and we're going to connect this here, plug it in, twist it on, just like that, and then we should be getting power. Oh, we do! Cool. And we can adjust it. We can push it over a little bit more. Nice. Awesome. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, you're in front of the solar panel. Nice. And the birds love this. The birds and the insects love this. So, another thing, let's go ahead and take off the wrapper. Yep. Oh, wait, actually. Try out a few different pieces in a second, okay? Okay. That one might be cool. Whoa! Oh. Whoa. Hang on. That one's a little too powerful. Good. Good, it worked. I think I like that pattern the best. Maybe. It's the smaller spray so it doesn't get everywhere. Mm -hmm. 
And let me try to take off that tip piece. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's kind of cool like that too. Yeah. But I like this tip piece. Awesome. Nice. What do you think? Like it? Thumbs up? Good job, Son. Thank you for helping me. Yay. So we have another another fountain for the blood the birds, the bees, the fairies. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Cool. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like subscribe, drop a comment, and share it with a friend. Hope to see you on the next one.